Bridges, and welcome back to JTV. I'm here with none other than the director, Matthew Reed himself. How are you doing today? Hey, Jay, how are you? Good, Where's I'm doing well. So I've been so excited to talk to you. Good. You got so many things <laughs> going on with you, you. Like, and I've been watching your journey too. You so so let the people know what you do, who you are, and how everything got started. Awesome. Well, I'm director Matthew Reed, or Matthew Reed. Um, um, I, it all got started, man. I was at the University of Arkansas, Pamela. I'm a graduate there. Um, after that, yeah, HBCU, right? Me too. <laughs> uh, I, I, I did graduate there. Uh, afterwards, guys, I was in a field of depression, anxiety. I was stressed out because I thought a sheet of paper could save my life. I thought that shit that we can do things and manifest things that I cannot see. But I found out now as a young man that a uh, degree is nothing but a sheet. Okay, so uh, after that deal, I began to write plays and direct them and be able to act them. I did a school, I uh, made a little um, Easter play with my church, and I had at least about 40 some kids that I was working with. Um, some, one of the directors or whoever backed out at the last minute to call me and said, Matthew, you got your degree in it? Why won't you just go ahead and do it? So I said, Okay, I will. So I did, and I did, and it blew up pretty well. So someone asked me, Matthew, would you do a play with kids? I mean adults, and I said, you know what? I'll give it a shot, and I did just that. So I did a go. That's how it all got started for them. I came from 27 in attendance to 300 to 500, 700, and man. And uh, it's so keeps going on and on. <laughs> on and on, yeah. easy. So now you got this is your second play, your first play. Ooh. Tell us how many plays you've had because wow. I think I've lost. This is my I've written now 13 stage plays. Okay. In six years. Yeah, I really, yes, it's, it's really deep. Uh, it's, it's, like, it's kind of record breaking. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Every play I write is not of me, but I give everything to God. God allows me to write what I write, and He gives it to me in my mind, my heart, and my spirit, and boom, it happens. And it happens just I wrote like this that. play here a day and a half. In a day and a half? In a day and a half. So do you just like lock yourself in the room? What's the process? Do you well, you know what? To be honest, um, when you let God take control, He'll do what you cannot. Oh, I tell you all the time do what you can do. And God would do what you cannot. And I, I begin to train my mind and say, you know what, God, I cannot write without you. So whenever I begin to speak, I say, God, if, and I get extremely nervous. Say, Jesus, well, if, uh, uh, if you're not here, our words will not flow. I give everything honor to him. And then when I give him honor, I believe he puts what's in me that deserves to be in me, to let me move, to let me pursue what needs to be pursued. So that's, that's, that's right. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's, oh, that's how your friend is coming out. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't expecting that deep of Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, that is so nice. So tell me about the characters in your plays. Like, oh, man. If you've been following him, you know all about Grandpa Jenkins. He's yeah. my favorite. So tell me all about how all these characters got started and why you chose these characters to be in your play. Well, you know what? Um, I'm like this. Every different production is always something different. Mm -hmm. It's always a different character. So some characters travel along and some are different. Um, like this new character here, I have a character by the name of Sister Sherry, for instance. Okay. Sister Sherry, she's praising God all the time. Uh, to be honest, she barely ever had lines, lines, but she's so filled with God that she feels like she's just praising him all the time. And that comes to basically just observing uh, our everyday lives. Right. Church, if it's outside of churches, some people just praise God where they at. Boom! They want to praise God, see? And that's how my character is. So I make these characters up in my mind, and they just come so fluently, so easy. And I don't know how, but it's just, it's just going the way for me. So, boom, that's where it is. Man, so, okay, who's your favorite then? Oh, my God. You know what, to be honest, I really can't say who's my favorite. Because, uh, I don't know. I really can't say that because, in my mind, I have not gotten there yet. So you don't have a favorite? I don't have you a favorite. Okay, how about this? Do you have a character that you relate to more? I, you know what? If I must say myself, um, I think um, in this play here, I can relate to um, uh, the main character, Molly Jenkins. Okay. Molly Jenkins grew up without a, uh, a, a father in her life. And I grew up without a father in my life. And that's something I can relate to. Yeah. So when it comes to that, basically, um, that's that's the character that actually that kind of hits the heart the most. Definitely, so you can relate to that character. Oh and that's a lot of things people look for when they're watching movies and plays. Yes, yeah. How can I they relate, relate back and forth between exactly. these characters? Yes. Okay, so this is my other question for you. Well, did you think that your vision would get this far when you first started? Or did it start off as a hobby? Or why did you, <laughs> like, how did you think, really far did you think Good question, dude. Good question. You know what? I never thought of me as I'll be a director. Really? I, def I, I, I suffer with low self-esteem so much. I suffer with anxiety so much. I suffered with depression so much. I didn't think there was a tomorrow for me. I used to lock myself in my mom's basement downstairs because I would hate to see my mom's face as a failure. So when she would come to me, Jay, I would feel it, I, my voice would even get lowered. I would get soft because I felt as if I wasn't enough for her. I believe as a single parent mother, to raise a child and her children and not to give back to her, and to me in my heart, I, I was a failure. 
So I would never thought in my mind I would get this far. But one thing about God, what you see ain't what God sees. Yeah. I tell people all the time, you ever, if you ever want to make God laugh, you tell me your plan. My brother likes to say that to me. It's true. It's true. And if you had to tell me a long time ago, I was supposed to be mm. the top dancer. Mm. You know, God, that wasn't going to play. Ah. <laughs> and we are. Yes, I guess my other question is to you, like, do you have any people that you really want to work with in the future? I know you mentioned Tyler Perry a lot, and me and you talked about that. We both love Tyler Perry. Is yes. there anybody else that you just have met along this journey that you're just extremely excited about working with? You. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, every time, there's no celebrity mm -hmm. that I've not, uh, 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 that I just really in particular want to work with. Because to be honest, I've met them already. My actors today, I've met them already. Yeah. They're, they are celebrities. To me, they're already a star. I'm just the individual to push them to the light. They're already a star. So, so I've met I've met the best already. And that's how I feel in my heart, my mind, my spirit. I met them already, Jay. So to me right now, it's an honor to be with you, that you're talking to me, and that I'm, I'm able to talk to you. It's an honor. I'm humble in my way. So when it comes to even that question, well, I know people say Tyler Perry or, or huge names, you know, uh, all type of things. You know what I'm saying? All type of names. To me, I've gotten there already. So anything else is extra. Mm -hmm. So do you want to eventually expand? Like your studio, like eventually own like your own type production studio? What Tyler Perry did was a huge inspiration to me. Yes, I always say it's beautiful. Yes, and I want to do that for Chicago, Illinois, my hometown. I want to build my own studios and allow it to be a home base for those who can see their way also. And I want that. That's nice, because a lot of kids don't see that, especially growing up in the inner city, they don't see. There is a light to the internet tunnel yes. because there are people pouring into yes. what they're trying to do. So I really think you can. Do that. Thank you so much. So let's talk about the show though. Oh, when, is the, when is the show? When can they see this play? What's the title of this? Uh, um, a new show is called Matthew Reads. Okay. Course, I remember. Um, basically, it's about a, a character who has a magical remote. TV remote that takes us back in time about how um, she was so discouraged about how we discourage her life and her obstacles and basically let us know how to get through it okay. in other words so with this magical remote she takes us everywhere and thanks to this old man by the name of Grandpa Jenkins she receives the encouragement that she needs to live again or to remind her exactly who she is Sometimes you need the old people to bring you back. Oh! But you need them. <laughs> right? You need them, Jay. Come on, girl. You need them, girl. You need them. Okay. I need it. So where can people catch the show? How do they purchase tickets? And how do they get in contact with you? Um, well, my Instagram is official Matthew Reed. Okay. And official Matthew Reed on Instagram. Uh, the show is tomorrow. Uh, June 18th and June 19th. Oh, June 18th. Yes. Yes, black man on the one of his own production company performing <laughs> on stage. I think it's an honor, it's a blessing. Um, uh, and uh, how to get the tickets are on eventbrite.com. You can go to your Google, type in Matthew Reads. I remember. It'll pop up on eventbrite.com, you go to the eventbrite website. Matthew Reads, I remember. It'll pop up there, Jay. Okay. So I'm very excited for your play. Okay. I've definitely been studying your homework, y'all. This is a show that you definitely do not want to miss. This man has put a lot of work into it. Thank you. Can they buy these shirts? That yes, they can. Guys, that's Grandpa Jenkins, everything. Um, okay. Hats. Oh my God. Shirts. I don't, I don't type of stuff, y'all. Please just go back. So do they have to have cash in here? Do they have Zelle? Oh, they have both. They can have both. both. Cash okay. app, Zelle. Um, you know, uh, what's it called? Apple Pay? I believe all this stuff, all, all this stuff is available, guys. Please come out and just watch the show. Most You'll love you guys it. come support my, my brother and watch his show. Thank you guys for tuning in for JTV. <laughs> this is your girl, Jay with the Juice, and I will see you guys later. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome production that uh, premieres on the 18th and yeah, runs through the 19th. Uh, I will be the MC. You be the MC? I will be the so MC. I, is this your first time you've seen it? Oh, been no, doing no. This? I've been doing it for over 15 years. 15 years? 15 years. So, how did you imagine that? Let's get up to college. So, you went to Bible Hill too? I went to the University of Missouri. Yeah, I went to the University of Missouri. Oh, okay. HBC, you love it. Okay. Okay. So, were you hosting that Bible Hill too? Yes. Yes, I definitely was. So this is something that you just always love to do? I always love um, connecting with people, mic in hand, mm -hmm. uh, feeding off the crowd, that making people laugh, just touching people and just 
you know, having a good time in that second home. So are you from Dallas? I'm okay. from Dallas. You're from Dallas. So how, how did you end up connecting with down to Pine Bluff? Is it New York? Well, I was a football recruit. So okay. uh, they came and scouted me and that's how I found out about Pine Bluff. And then it just took off from there. So what, what else have you hosted so far? Oh, wow. Over uh, 15 years, I have done everything <laughs> from fashion shows to bar shows to step um, shows to you know, some parties and different things like that. But I'm here to celebrate and uh, be a part of something that's so spectacular. And I'm so proud of Matthew Reed and what he's doing. And, uh, I remember the stage the play. It's, it's going to be yeah, so yeah, great. Well, it was very nice talking to you. I can't wait to see you live and actually seem like a very vibrant personality. We even met you. <laughs> right. You know, great minds. Yeah, but great minds think alike. They do. <laughs> Yellow look good on chocolate, <laughs> don't it? They do. But thank you for tuning in with us. It's Beauty Girl, Jamie the Juice, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, love. Bye.